Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Crash Craft server uh, with me, Eagle to Angel, and we're joined by Nomad. We're not in a call right now, but uh, we might get into one later, but what we decided to do today was build a melon farm here at the Zombie XP farm because we use a lot of melons in the in, in to kill these guys. So we're going to uh, put the melon farm back here in this corner and uh, well it's uh I want to see how this is gonna work out uh, uh, yeah so we need one no okay I need to make another chest here real quick so I can figure out where the it's gonna be light this up a little bit okay uh, let's see let me make a chest <laughs> he's doing Spanish homework right now while we while we're doing this uh, let's see don't need that right now Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do we want this to come out? Oops. Bump my mouse. Do, 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 do. Might end up moving this whole thing too. And those two villagers elsewhere. Because, let's see. This is gonna go. Let's put this right here for now. And then we'll go. Oh, wait. <sighs> Crap. Actually, we could go under here. Like that. My inventory is too full. Okay. Okay. Let's put this here. No, that ain't gonna work either. I gotta have it. I gotta have it here. And put a hopper in that, in that, like that. And then one more, two more. Let's see, so this is center right here, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna want to go this way. Bring a hopper line like this, and then one right here, and then we'll go one. This way, this way, this way, and then put these two in like this, and then a redstone torch in the middle. And of course, I'm not um, ready yet because I didn't get all the materials I needed together first. So I'm going to put some stuff in this chest that I've been um, this is my chest that I set aside to oops I need those to do this so okay so let's make the com uh, repeaters real quick so we'll go that way like that hopefully that's enough probably need more of those but we'll make those as we as we need them okay so I also need to make pistons and sticky pistons so I need cobblestone right here where yeah right here oh, oh, oh need need needs uh, all crappers 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I put all my cobblestone in there. Okay. Do you... Crap. Okay. Do that. And then that across the top. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. That in the middle, that in the middle. Alright, there we got sticky pistons. And then we need no we have regular pistons. Then we need sticky pistons. Okay. There we go. Alright, let me empty this out. Oh, we need that. Get rid of this stuff that we don't need right now. That, that. We need comparators. He was supposed to be helping me with this. He's got all the comparators and everything. And I need... Okay, so the dirt is going to go here, 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 and here. So then I need a sticky piston here. Let's see. Yeah. He, no, one more back. I need to go back one more. Crap. That means I need to move this whole thing back one. All right. Let me let me get this uh, cleaned up a little bit, and then yeah. The compare your tours. I know that's spelt wrong. <laughs> Aha. Thank you. back one more with this all right I'll be back in just a minute okay I got it fixed so we go ahead and put a glass on each one of these and move this all back out two more and pushed it back a little bit more okay so then we need the torch in the middle like I got there and then we put a um, repeater just like that and then we can hoe these guys like this oh yeah 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 that's right I forgot about the water guys I forgot about the water so, we're going to go ahead and use, um, I forgot about the water, dang it, <sighs> crappers. Okay, I was going to use this andesite, or, yeah, andesite block as my pretty block. Oop, missed. Okay, so I need to put water in underneath this glass and I don't have a oh yeah I do I have a soap touch I have a soap touch right here okay let's take this glass back real quick all right so we'll go like this Just a lack of that. And then I need to make a infinite water spring here. Whoa. Okay. Not what I was intending to do. 
well I'll put that water there and then I'm gonna grab this water make an infinite spring out of that and put this water back okay so now all we need to fill up all these with water just like this come on Let me, where's my torches? Eh, oh well. I'll be getting light here in a second when I put the glowstone up. So we're done with that part. Now we put the glass back in. Right here. And then we're going to take, just stack up like this. And then we're going to put a dropper facing up like that with a hopper facing into that ah crud I need to dig up hey this out of the way I got a, 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 I'm not sure how many levels we're gonna do right now we have enough to do about five to uh, maybe a couple more <clears throat> and then I might add to it later um, so just for now I'm gonna get this set up has there been griefers on the server before but not Late. Me why? Okay, let me gather up all this stone. Oh yeah, I'm using my silk touch. It's almost broken. Dang it! Need to repair that. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get back to what we were doing here. I should be able to jump stack up yep like that okay and then we need my andesite blocks again and then need a comparator and I put all my redstone away and I need the redstone <laughs> oh this one okay Just that house on the water is gone, except for the chest. He took it down. Hmm. Self. Okay. So we'll go over here. Uh, we need to put a piece of redstone right there. Okay, and now take this out and we'll put an item in here and what you'll see here is let me uh, let me grab uh, melons real quick and show you um, what it will do like that okay so this is how it's set up it's pretty simple you put the one item in there and then when this let's see seems like I'm missing something here no that's right okay and then you go like that and it, there you go you seen it working with your own eyes and that's how simple this is so all we need to do now is till these corners like this and plant some seeds in there and we could bone meal these so that they grow a little faster but I'm not going to do that 
and then we'll just shift click these right on top of that like that oh not like that uh, let's grab my silky okay no I did it again on top on top yeah like that just like that now that'll give a plenty of light so then and these act like uh, a transparent block so that'll allow the because a, a plant won't produce fruit if it doesn't have um, an open block above it so this works as a transparent block so it considers it an open block so we'll go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back all right everybody we are back and I have gotten the second level done and I'm not sure if I want to go in I think maybe I might go one more I have enough for one oh I have enough for two more levels <clears throat> yeah I think I've got enough materials looks like I have enough materials to go two more levels so maybe we will do that we were we will go two more levels on this um, let's, see, let's put this in here uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cover this up I was thinking about covering it up but I'm not going to I think I'm gonna just put a glass wall right here so you can look at it from the server um, I might put another chest over here um, just to make this symmetrical um, actually let's do that right now while we're, while we're thinking about it. I, I, I I've been thinking about moving this enchanting room um, somewhere else I was, I've been thinking about it I, I, I've been thinking about moving these guys because these these two guys are like the perfect villagers for this spot. They got everything we need to um, make things happen here. See, we got we got everything in those two villagers. So I'm getting the melon farm going here, um, so that we got plenty of melons to use the splash potions. Now, the other thing we need is we need gold. We need gold here and this stuff is for curing vill villagers but really um, really don't need that here but I am going to set up an automatic brewing system for excuse me for the uh, splash health and the splash harming or weakness I mean not harming weakness and I'm going to do that and then I'm also thinking about since I put the melon farm over there I'm thinking about taking these chests out here and putting a sugar cane farm and a um, cow breeder farm thing. That cracking was my knuckles, by the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, that um, I was thinking about putting a, a reed farm on either side and then on the end, in the back put a cow breeder uh, cooker system back there because you use a lot of books here and you lose use paper you can trade paper for this guy you can trade uh, rotten flesh with this guy and um, I might get a leather worker uh, villager in here um, so you can use the leather to uh, make books and enchant the books or use the leather to trade with the leather trader to get more emeralds um, so, because you can get levels while you trade too so when you're when you're waiting for these guys to build up which right now I'm out of gold so now oh, I got mob sounds off uh, I know earlier I had all the sounds off um, and then I realized I had them all off because I wasn't using my headphones so, ow! He had thorns, obviously. I need to get looting three on this sword. I got looting two, I need to get looting three. 
So, um, Nomad gave me enough diamonds to replace my armor. Ah, oh, we just seen a harvest. We just seen a harvest. I'm in. Ta da! Yeah, so it's working. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And right behind this glowstone is a chest. And then what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, what I was saying was Nomad gave me enough diamonds to replace my armor from when I died. Now, how I'm going to get water to these guys is I'm going to put water coming out of the ceiling and then just dropping right down there in each corner. And I think that would look pretty cool. But uh, over here, we need to put another chest here. Put one there. And then and that, what this does is it helps with the overflow. And then that. And then one more there. And then this is... Doop. 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 Yeah, like that. Okay. And then... Doop. Do. And then we can just do, 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 do. Okay. So I need to dig this out a little bit more and uh, go up two more levels on this. And then I think this project will be finished. I'll, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to glass that in and make it look nice so you can um, see this whole contraption. So you'd be, be able to step up here. And and look at the melon barn <laughs> which seems to be working really well um, this has all happened since I built the second level so that's pretty good and, oh and a, and a few more too um, I was I had one growing right here and I only harvested it twice oh it goes there it goes again nice yeah it's working good now I'm gonna put a uh, Nims. Um, I can't remember his old name, but I'll put his uh, link to his channel in the description. He does a lot of tutorials for sh farms and stuff like that, and he calls them Nims Toots, and uh, yeah, you know Toots for short for tutorial, not not stinks. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he he does a lot of these and this is where I got or he's where I got this design from and I think this works perfect for when you're AFKing here um, or trading with the villagers or whatever or just like me being here working on it we've got plenty of melons coming in and what I think I might do is I might set up a portal above this that is going to spawn in um, zombie pigment and drop it into the same uh, area right here because I think or, or no I, I know that the splash health works the same on these guys or I mean on the on, on, on the zombie pigment as it does on these guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a portal above this one and set up a gold farm type system uh, thing where the zombie pigmen fall into the same chamber. Now I'll have to put on a half slab on the bottom of this um, when I do that because of the fact that that will also allow um, baby zombie pigmen to get in here as well. So I'll put a half slab like that. That will take care of the baby zombie pigmen and we will splash kill them all and get gold at the same time which means I'm gonna have to put a sorting system under here but that's okay that is perfectly fine so this will be a completely self-efficient um, XP farm and I'm thinking this feels a little crowded right here it's only three wide so I'm thinking about pushing this back now, if you look, almost every one of these chests are completely full of stuff. So I'm thinking about condensing quite a bit of it and and moving it back. You know, go like three more, four more that way, and moving this whole room back four. 
I, I think that would make it feel a lot more, a lot better on here. And you might put beams across the ceiling too. Um, you know, bring this down half a slab and then you know, bring this whole roof down half a slab and then put beams in there so it looks like it's supported. I think that would look good. So I, I might dress this up a little bit better. Um, I like how it's set up in keeping with the theme. And in the process of pushing this back, I'm going to redo this um, to get it out of the floor and put it up in the wall. And then I'll relocate these guys into better rooms. Um, or I might put them I might put them both in this side over here with the switcher like Doc M77 uses so you can just switch between the two. And then then um, maybe if I can get an armorer in here and a toolsmith and a uh, leather worker in here and a Fletcher will have everything we need to be for this XP farm to be self-sufficient on making uh, your armor and getting all the enchantments you need. So I am going to work on this. Uh, we we I'll show it in the next episode and. Uh, show you my progress and see how much I've gotten done with all of this. So thank you all for watching and uh, like, favorite, subscribe and see you all next time. Bye bye!